Hi, my name's Sue Ellum and I'm a tarot reader and I have been for 25 years and I'm using the mythic tarot which are based on Greek mythology. Hello, I am Carrie Bellino, intuitive Reiki master teacher and spiritual life coach and I have the question that will prompt the the word that will pop prompt a question. Okay, so we just taped one on power and Sue's statement after we um, cut taping was people don't realize the amount of responsibility that comes along with power. I wonder if that's going to be our next word. What is it? Responsibility. responsibility. Oh my God. <laughs> We're in the flow. And I'm telling you, there's like 200 words in here. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm done. Yours. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my goodness. I, you know, this, it just shows it just up. how, how you can just be divinely guided that when you're yes. when you're in the flow this is what happens life becomes magical yep yep so okay so on to responsibility which we just mentioned about um having power let me tap in a minute and see if that's the vein we need to go on hold on okay no it's a little different so apparently everyone needs to hear this train of thought because that's what I'm being guided to share. Um, it's very important in this day and age right now to um, watch, be cautious of what you feel responsible for because there are so many hats that people are wearing now. Um, we always wore a lot of hats caregiver, mother, father, uh, co-worker, boss, whatever, whatever. But now we've added a whole bunch more, like um, defender of the, our rights and protector of the innocent against a virus and teacher. So many of you are teaching um, your children at home and so many hats that we, we did, we're taking responsibility for that, that we've really never had to. So it's very, very important that you prioritize your responsibilities because it will become overwhelming. The energy around it will, will become overwhelming. So uh, regarding responsibilities, I would, my um, coaching recommendation, my intuitive recommendation is to feel or, um, or, take on the responsibilities for those things that you feel passionate about that are on your plate right this minute. So if your spouse or your, your partner or your children are, they're on your plate right this second, then own the responsibility around them. But know that your responsibility is only your portion of it, your um, soul's uh, mission or your um, your contribution to their lives or their health or their sanity, um, they have responsibility as well. You can't be responsible for all of it. You can't be responsible for all of the hats, wearing all of the hats, and you can't be responsible for all of the their soul's choices. Each and every one of us has a soul journey. Each and every one of us has this um, divine plan that we kind of mapped out before we were born. And that our souls have this, this journey to go through. And you can't be responsible for their journey. So if they make a choice that you think is a poor choice, um, you cannot be responsible for changing their minds. You can't feel... Um, guilty when they when they make a poor choice that kind of thing and we can talk about um, we'll probably talk more about that and we have talked about that in other videos check out please um, my personal videos I do explain some of these um, these things and responsibility will be one of them um, soul choices 
but that is the uh, direction that um, I was guided to take for responsibility. Just own you. <sighs> I talk in a circle. I felt like I talked in a circle. No, I think mean, you just. Um... You encapsulated a few things. All in one sentence, I know. It's a, okay. <laughs> they needed to be parsed out. <laughs> it's a big word, isn't it, though? It, I mean, it has so many facets. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, responsibility, we have here the emperor. Now, the emperor is about walking your talk um, and being very clear on what your direction is. The thing is, allying this with responsibility, is you have to know what you're talking about. So a lot of times people go off half mast and they, you know, they, they have the bits of a plan together and they're just so eager to get out there. They haven't kind of really thought everything through. With the emperor, you've really got to know all the ins and outs. So if you have an idea, you need to look at it from all angles. You have angles, you have to be prepared. So it's, if you're going to take on responsibility for anything, you need to be fully repair, prepared. You know, if you're going to take responsibility of a team of people, you need to know that team of people. You need to know what their skills are, what their, you know, what they can do, what their personalities are like, who, who can work better with who. You, 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 it's, you just can't just go in there with blanket statements because you, this is about, going back to yesterday, it's about power and power and responsibility aligned. So when you walk your talk, it's like, you can walk beside me if you like, but don't get in my way, because I'm, I'm going there anyway. But people will not follow you if they don't think that you know what you're talking about, or if you have, haven't done your homework. You have to have done your homework and be very clear what you're, what direction you're going in, why you're going in it. And, and if people ask you questions, you can answer those questions because you're well prepared. So a lot of it's preparedness as well. Um, with responsibility, we have here, I think it's a seven. Yes, yeah, seven of wands. We have here a lot of hard work. You know, you can't take on responsibility then and, and only have the, the benefits of a, a bigger salary than everybody else. You have to, it's a lot of hard work. You've got to keep ahead of the game. You've got to improve yourself, your project. You've got to um, take responsibility for, for the outcome of things. Um, you know, it's account again, accountability. You, this comes with it as well. You can't say, well, I'm responsible, but only when it goes right. You've got to be, you've got to put the work in to make sure that if it, if something does happen, then it's just one of those things. It's not because you, you've shirked your responsibility and gone off fishing for a day. So this is keeping ahead of the game. So don't take on responsibility for anything if you're not prepared to do the work that comes with it. You know, um, stay, stay in the back because you'll be affecting other people as well, and there'll be a knock-on effect. And then comes lack of respect and, and all these sorts of things, saying, oh, you know, thought was a good idea, but they haven't got, they, they can't continue on. They, they haven't got the, they haven't got the staying power, because this is what happens. When you take on responsibility, you also have to be prepared to put the work in and have the staying power to see Whatever, whatever it is, the project, whatever it is, you've got to prepare to see it through to the end. And the, we have the world card, and responsibility brings its own rewards. It's like you've done, you, 
you know, you've done your lessons, you've passed your exams, it's now what next? So taking responsibility is very character building and being prepared to put the work in to do the very best you can in, in that particular project. Again, whatever it is, you take on responsibility and on a soul level, you have upped your, you've upped your game. And it's like, okay, I've learned that now. Okay, what's the next responsibility that I have that I can take on? What's the next rung of the ladder that I can that I can climb up? So, so it's very hard to come to an end of an era um, that you yourself have instigated if you're not prepared to take responsibility. If you always let other people take responsibility, then the end of the eras come despite you suddenly you know you know you might lose your job because people can't rely on you to take responsibility for anything or that there's there's always consequences um in in any area where you the and you know we're born to, for the life purpose that is our responsibility so anybody that shirks responsibility isn't following their life purpose. They are trying just to come here for the ride. And you're usually riding on someone else's back or you're expecting someone else to, to save you or to, to, to pull you along when you don't have to make the effort. But if you do embrace this responsibility, you work hard, you do the very best you can, you've learned valuable lessons which will take you forward into a new era when the page of pentacles shows that you will be taking care of yourself. It's like, what new hobbies can I take? Should, should I save some money? Shall I, you know, should I look at my diet, my exercise? What do I need to do now? So this is about responsibility for self. Responsibility of not needing to rely on other people um, to do things for you responsibility of being taking care of your body, your home, and everything on a material as well as on a physical level. So that's another area of responsibility. And it all comes together, responsibility for self, as well as responsibility for, for other people who you impact in some way. So that's, those are the cards on responsibility. Perfect. Well, yours was multifaceted as well as mine was. So there was a lot we had to throw out there and we'll hopefully the <laughs> whatever nugget you needed, you heard. And um, that's it. Yeah, there's so many different layers to all these words. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, <laughs> we do our best. <laughs> hopefully you got your, your, your nugget. So please subscribe, like, and share. And uh, thanks for joining us. Bye. See you later.